Hello and welcome to my video walkthrough of the Cottonwood Contest. I have 100 farm cards, 6 market cards, and 2 summary cards. I've shuffled my deck of cards and because I'm playing one player, I'll be discarding half the deck. Next I'm going to take my remaining cards and divide them into four piles. I'll add a market card to the second and fourth pile. Shuffle in the market card. Place this pile on top. Shuffle in the market card. Place this pile on top. To begin my turn, I'll draw up to six cards. I have a few baskets, I have some corn, I have some wheat, I have some sheep, and I have some fields. Looking at my options, I'm going to start by plowing a field. Draw up to six. I'm going to plant corn. Draw up to six. I'm going to want to start my sheep, so I need to build a pasture. Drop to six. Have sheep. Now that I have two sheep, if I have a sheep available on a later turn and I have something to feed it, I'll be able to have those sheep have offspring. That'll be a bonus action in addition to my main action. I'll continue this way. Now I have some cows, but I also have berries and herbs. So I might weave a basket, or I might build another pasture. I'm going to build that pasture, and now I have lots of cows. I'll add those three cows. I'll need to feed them. Draw up to three. And I'll continue in this way until I draw a market card. If I drew this market card, I could see that cows are only at three. That's their lowest price. And instead of selling the cows, I'd sell them each for their milk. Sheep are at seven, which are the highest prices that I can get for them. I could sell them each for seven, or I could say to myself, having two sheep means that I can add offspring for free. So I'd have a decision to make if I wanted to do that. If I had some berries or some herbs, I could either sell them or set them aside to make jam and to have dried herbs for later in the game. I'd play through and continue the next round, and then I would find the second market card in the deck. I would score again. Then I would take any cards remaining in the draw pile, any cards in the discard pile. I would shuffle them divide them into half, add a market card, shuffle it in, add the stack without a market card on top, and play the third gear. When I got done, I would compare everything that I've sold to the average price for that item. Any sheep that I would sold, if I had only sold these two sheep, and I had sold them for seven, the average price is five, I would be ahead. But if I had sold cows for three and the average price was five, I might be a little behind. But those cows, if I had sold them for milk for two rounds, I would also be getting the extra milk price. So in the end, it would help me compete against the neighbor that also wants the farm. I would tally up my score against the average score and see if my choices were better than theirs. It lasts about 30 minutes and plays one to four players. 